You're listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network. Now the largest new media platform on the web and your number one source for after-show entertainment. Very good, Gene. From the AfterBuzz studios in Los Angeles, California, and streaming live on Ustream, this is AfterBuzz TV for True Blood. We'll break down tonight's episode and get you all the latest True Blood news and gossip. If you'd like to buzz in on tonight's show, you can buzz us at 424-256-1729. That's 424-256-1729. And now, picking up where the show leaves off, and the buzz continues, it's After Buzz TV for True Blood! Woo! <laughs> I am Brittany McNinelli, and tonight we're talking about True Blood. It's season four, episode four. Before we get started, just wanted to suggest some light reading. I have read this book. It's The Every Girl's Guide to Life. Maria Menounos wrote it. And it really is the Every Girl's Guide to mm -hmm. Life. They've got something for everyone in here. Great tips. And awesome tips. Yeah. So pick one up at your local bookstore. Go book out and store. get it. Immediately. <laughs> Anyways, we're starting episode four, and we left off with Eric draining mm -hmm. Sookie's fairy godmother. Do we think she was upset about it? Not that much. No, 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 no. <laughs> Definitely not. And he's drunk, and it's adorable. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Completely drunk, happy, and in the sunlight. Yes, which was awesome because we got to see him pretty naked, which I love. <laughs> and vulnerable. But so vulnerable. He's like this little boy, little boy version of Eric. And uh, he's drunk, he's pinching Sookie's butt. It's adorable. Teasing and running around. I love it. And. Mm -hmm. I know you're the same way. You've been rooting for the Eric Sookie romance. Yes. I want to see it. I want to see it so bad. She's got three potential suitors. She's got Bill, who's kind yeah. of in the background now. He's old. Alcide mm -hmm. and Eric. Uh, I don't like her with Alcide. No. He's I drama. love him. He's a beautiful man. But I want to <laughs> see her with Eric 100%. Yes. I think she's liking him a lot more. Um this innocent, sweet, kind guy, and she's starting to fall for him a little bit. I think so. I think she's trying to fight it as hard as she can. Oh, but yeah. like, he's when he was showing his shining moments, even when he was a bad vampire, mm -hmm. she still liked him. She still liked him a little mm -hmm. bit, and now he's like that all the time. He's so nice all the time, and innocent yeah. and boyish. I love it. And Bill is on the hunt for him. Don't know his intentions. Mm -hmm. I don't know if Bill's a good guy or a bad guy anymore. It's crazy. He seems to be genuine about missing Eric. Like, yeah, fi actually looking for him and going, where is he? Like, concerned. But then again, he is the king, and he may have other alternatives. I mean, yeah. alternative motives that yeah. we don't know about yet. He seems so. like a jerk. He's a been... little, a little douchey. Right. I feel that. And mm -hmm. uh, who was it who said to him, like, oh, you must love the way that crown feels? Uh, was it Pam? Was it Pam? Or was it the other lady, the, bo in the boss of him? It's possible. I think, I don't know. But, yeah, I think he's, like, Maybe it was really Pam. abusing his power almost. Yeah. He's getting too much into it, which I think anyone can when they get power. Power hungry. But so power hungry. We're mm -hmm. trying to figure out what the witches want, talking about necromancy, bringing back people from the dead. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Moira. I don't know how I feel about her. The witch? Yes. I feel yeah. so unsure of so many characters <laughs> all the time. <laughs> right? I don't know if they're good or bad, but it she's had this way. awesome flashback of a witch burning at the stake. In, where was it? Um, was it Italy? No. They were it was Spain. Spain. And I left my notes at home. <laughs> That's okay. Is she's... That? We, we don't know what it means, but she's trying to call on this goddess, mm -hmm. and Lafayette gets all sassy, and he's like... <laughs> What does he say? I wrote it down. He's like, you get her ass on the goddamn goddess hotline. <laughs> yeah. Call her up. <laughs> He's so funny. Because they're trying to reverse that spell. Yeah. But yeah, I don't know. I think it's funny that she was in some of the Harry Potter movies. Oh, she was? Yeah, she was Dudley's mom. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And she's, of course, now involved in another witch kind witchies. of situation. Yeah. yeah, it's weird. 
playing a lot of the but same But she probably roles. does it really well. I mean, she looks like one. You know, yeah, not like... She, <laughs> she looks like she could play something. Yeah, you know what I mean? Right? Like, she just seems like that... <laughs> Kind of like a hippie-ish yes. kind of mom. I you still know? get that vibe at and that store. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I love it. But um, I want to talk about Jason because he's one of my favorite characters. And Poor I feel guy. so bad for him. He literally is just a stick to sit on and produce babies. Oh, my God. It's awful. I'm just watching him and he's like, please, not another. And they're like, next. Yeah. This assembly line of people. It's awful. It is. And he is the ghost daddy. Yeah, kind of creepy. Grosses me out. Crystal thought she was cool. So not She's at in, like, all. She's a weird world, like weird fantasy world. Like she, she believes this crap. Yeah, she's basically. like, now we're going to be together. I don't. But ugh. I'm the big mama panther now. And we're going to live this know. great trashy life. No, I, I didn't know. like it one bit. Mm -mm. I I used to like her. I really did. Yeah. Now I can't stand her. And I just like, I don't know, you know, Jason, he's been kind of a, a man ho, if I will. Yeah. <laughs> a little more than that. Right. <laughs> and now we see him like suffering, sitting in this bed of pain. And this little girl is the next one. She has to be, what, 13? Oh, my 14 God. at most? Yeah, at most. Oh. And he's so sweet to her. He's like, no, this can't be your first time. Like, yeah. a boy should bring you flowers, flowers. and candy. I know. It's like, she's... Jason, when have you brought anyone flowers <laughs> or candy? Never. <laughs> but it was nice that he even said it. I was yeah. just like, wow, Jason Stackhouse. Yeah. So sweet. He's becoming a man. It was weird to see him in that light. It was cool. Yeah. But um, then we come to Tommy. The whole Tommy, Sam, uh, that whole triangle, mm -hmm. whatever is going on. I can't believe what's going on with that family. They are uh, effed up. I thought <laughs> I thought Jolie was out of the picture, wraps the chain around his neck, and he's like back in, I'm the assuming mom, they're going to put him back in the dog the pit. The mom is just, that's not what a mom should be. No. Lying to her son, saying she's proud when she's just she just wants him back to make money. Can they like, find no other alternative ways of making money than these dog well, fights? Well, <laughs> they are literally the low class, yeah. you know, like southern Now, of course, American. he can read and for the first time. It's I like know, poor guy. Sad. Well, because he was in dog rings his whole, his whole life, life. So no, no education at all. I can't believe that. I can't. It's really sad. And poor Tom. I almost feel bad for him. I know he's kind of like a jerk. But yeah, but at the same time, he doesn't deserve to be putting dog rings either. no now i actually have some sympathy for him a but little bit. um also with sam i love what's going on with luna yes i wanted to talk about that oh i know gosh. you love it too i do <laughs> and hoyt's mom maxine was saying how you're not a family guy you have no family morals and blah 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 and then we see him with luna and her daughter Playing Barbies and being like the the kind of dad that they're Figure, missing, yeah. and it's really sweet to see that family, nice, genuine man coming out of him. Right. I don't think. I mean, Sam has always been sweet, but I don't think I've ever seen that in him. Yeah. And he's like, and you know, uh, the little girl. What is? Oh, she's Emma. Emma. Oh, I love. She that just name. cuddles right up to him. She's so comfortable. Yeah. It's like. She wants a father figure. Yeah. You can tell she's like, she's like Sam, stay, stay. <laughs> it's so she's sassy. I like it. Yeah, it's cute. I really, I'm hoping to see that flourish. I am too. But just remember, it's a little risky because the father is a werewolf and he lurks around and spies on them. So it's a little, it's a little risk he's what do you taking. Think that Emma is if if he's a werewolf and she's a shapeshifter. Is she just this little? Uh, Little girl, superhuman. I don't know. Maybe she's going to be able to... Well, I mean, isn't a werewolf a shapeshifter too, in a sense? Yeah, in I a way. Mean, they're the same. They shift. So, I mean, she'll probably be able to shift whenever she wants, but when it comes to being a werewolf, she'll probably only be able to shift maybe during the moonlight. Yeah. Uh, we'll see. She's maybe still she's young. Like, yeah, she's young, but she might be super powerful. It'd be great. Mm. Oh, there's Bill. Oh, Portia and Bill. Whoa. Oh, wow. Didn't see that coming. Did not. Being the fourth great-granddaughter. Great-granddaughter. Great, great, great <laughs> um, I can't see you anymore. Why? 
Um, <laughs> you're you're like, related to me. <laughs> way back in the day. I could say I'm just not that into you, but <laughs> seriously, right. you're my granddaughter. That's so awkward. <laughs> well, was, and the grandma was like, you can't. You won't. You don't. just can't. Don't. Yeah. Like, wow. I think he's like, yes, I will not ever again. Okay, yeah. It definitely grosses him out. I think it might it creep him out to. a little bit. Like, you're like kind of like my daughter. Ugh. You know what I mean? Like, that's, I think, how he sees it. Like, 100%. You're my daughter that I couldn't grow up with. You know, I couldn't Ugh. raise. And so that's how I see you. It just sucks kinda that creepy. they already did it. I'm like, oh, God, I can know. we take it back? <laughs> kind of creepy. But, yeah, and she was creepy to begin with. She was all like, let's her- turn this relationship not professional. Well, that's kind of, I, I kind of like that about her. How oh, she that takes she's control. So forward. Yeah. yeah, you know, like, <laughs> you never know what to do in those situations. But she was just like, hey, if it doesn't work out, we'll still have this business. We'll keep it professional. He's the girl inside us. We wish we could I, be right? really I could, ballsy. I don't think I could do that. Never. I would never be able to <laughs> say something like that. She has the balls that we wish we had. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, also, another creepy, creepy thing. The baby doll. Oh, my God. I told you my entire arm. Yeah, was chilling. Yeah, all over. That was. I didn't expect that. I baby, know. Baby, not yours. Not. And baby, like, not yours. Your theory. You think that the doll has done it? I think the doll did it. I think there's something creepy yeah. with the doll because when Hoyt and Jessica had it, it kept coming back. She threw it in the lake and it came back. Uh, that's a little creepy. Not yeah. gonna lie. You threw the doll in the lake, saw it sink, and now it's back again. Right. So I think it's the doll, the baby. The There's baby some part of me, evil. yeah, that wants to think that Mikey's a good. Hard, he looks it's innocent. Just the baby. And then the marker was in his hand. Uh, yeah, you never know. It's like uh, maybe you know what? Maybe the doll is like the um, voodoo, something doll like that. Yeah, like possesses him in some something, way. Something, yeah. Lots of theories. Um, Who knows. And that just can't help because Arlene is already like she's convinced, thinking he that is. he's Satan, baby. So yeah. that can't help. <laughs> I think Terry's gonna finally just because he's been so like this baby's fine, yeah, it's gonna be great. And now I feel like he he's, freaked out. Whoa. Well, he <sighs> was saying right before this happened, he's like, "You're my that's your that's your older brother, and that's your older sister, and that's your mama right there, the pretty yeah. thing right there, and I'm your daddy, and I'm gonna teach you this, and I'm gonna teach you that." How to fish and hunt. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and by the way, I'm gonna teach you how to do laundry too. Stay here, and then boom, comes back. Ah, like that must have. I mean, I got freaked out, and I wasn't yeah. even there. That must have been ridiculous. I would yeah. freak out. Kinda I don't creepy. know. I don't know. And that was the only scene they were in. I was like, oh, give me more. Yeah. There's the certain scenes one. that I'm just like, oh. I, I didn't want this episode to <laughs> to end. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This is this. where uh, he gets naked. I'm sorry. I'm just going to turn this way for a moment. Oh, my gosh. Elsie. You see that? He's like, he's about to get naked. Oh, no. We're going to see it. We're going to. Oh, true blood. Do you, you see? He's, such not a wearing, tease. he's not wearing any undies. Either. No, I can tell. Mm. <laughs> he's free balling it. <laughs> <laughs> And then he goes, it's like you're drooling. Straight to, uh, yeah. Please. My tongue is hanging out half side. I know, right? <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, by the way, oh, I don't yeah. know if you noticed. It's true blood. We, we managed to get our hands on some true blood. I'm going to suck down on some O positive. <laughs> I want you to try it too. It's blood orange flavored. So it looks really freaky, like actual blood. But I swear, just the bottle alone looks really cool. It's delicious and refreshing. <laughs> I sound like a vamp. Sorry. I'm so glad you didn't have a little coming down your side. I know, right? Like uh like the little symbol, like yeah. right there. <laughs> Do you want to taste? No, no, later, later. <laughs> later. Okay, okay. <laughs> I might end up getting addicted. <laughs> I know, right? Um Eric and Sookie, I know we talked about it, but that scene where they almost kiss, I was like on edge right she wanted it she she, she did. did not pull away and then finally he's like someone's at your door like he ended it and, bill ruins uh, everything he does <laughs> he always comes in at the wrong moments right and like i don't know i thought it was about to happen maybe i, I really do i think it will happen eventually like next episode please i, I think it will at least a kiss just a kiss maybe a little make out Maybe a little make out. God, that would make my day. Maybe some groping. That would make my Sunday. <laughs> yeah, but he said, he's like, if you kiss me, I promise you'll be happy. It's just a kiss. 
I think they could be totally happy together. Yeah. But what happens when he gets his memory back? Is it going to be... Do you think be... he ever will? I was going to ask you that. Mm. I don't... Maybe. Who knows? Maybe within time. Is it just time or is it this spell that they have to reverse? That's what I want to know. I have no idea. Maybe it's both. You know, <sighs> maybe... I'm going to be so pissed when he goes back to... I mean... The thing is, if he does get his memory yeah. back, is he going to remember all this new stuff that just happened? Like, or is, is it he going to remember being this nice guy, this genuine, like, hometown boy? Right. Or is he going to go back to being, I'm Eric Northman. Mur, mur, mur. Yeah. Like, douche. I'm cocky. Like. Yeah. <laughs> but then again, who knows? He reminds me of, like, the guy in high school who's super, you know, <laughs> man on campus, and then he has this secret sensitive side. Yeah. And we never get to see it. Mm-hmm. So... I don't know. I want to see it. Like secretly a mama's boy. Right? I feel like <laughs> if we knew <laughs> right. Eric's Viking past, maybe he was a mama's boy. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Well, we only saw a little snippet of that. I know, a little snippet. Um, what do we think is going to happen to Jason? Ooh. Maybe he could be some new hybrid. I think he's going to fall in love with Jessica. Yeah, you were. that was a really good point. You were saying that because... Because every time a vampire feeds their blood to a non-vamp, yeah. they, like, have some, like, sexual dreams and, like, fantasies for this vampire that they had their blood from. Yeah. And Jessica was the one feeding him. And I think he's going to, like, thank her for saving his life and then and maybe fall, fall in, in love. love. Yeah. And I think Jessica's going to like it because I think Hoyt is a little too... He's too good boy and square and... I live here and I do this. Yeah. And I, I'm I just own a my simple ranch. Southern yeah, boy. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. So I feel I think, bad for him, but he at needs the same to move time. on to somebody a little more innocent than Jess. I mean, Jessica's innocent, yeah. but she just she needs something new, something yeah. kind of bad but good. Like, I can tell she's getting bored. I feel mm -hmm. bad. It's almost well, that, yeah. She drinks somebody else's blood, right? Yeah, and. I remember last time we were discussing, is that cheating? We don't. <laughs> mm, yes. Well, I guess in her terms, maybe. Totally. I think so. <laughs> yeah. I would feel that way if my vampire boyfriend sucked someone else's blood. Yeah, I'd be pissed <laughs> thinking of that. I would yeah. be. I'm very territorial. I would not be happy about that. <laughs> yeah. Same I don't know. Here. I think she's getting bored. Maybe move on to Jason. But will Jason get any of this? ghost daddy wear panther thing that crystal's saying that she said on the next full like, moon full moon you just wait you just wait yeah. sweetie <laughs> yeah as she's standing there naked Ugh. <laughs> see i just can't believe how sweet i thought she was i felt bad you know she's stuck in i really hot thought shot. that it sucks yeah i thought she really loved, loved jason him. but i really think she's just living in a fantasy world yeah. she wants to live her panther life and grow more panther babies and that's it and the fact that she was totally okay with all of her clan sisters yeah, having, having sex, sex with him, yeah. I I don't think you love someone if you would let them be with other people. But then That's again, maybe my... it's different because, you know, in the animal kingdom, it's we don't know. Yeah. Like, we are one-on-one, -on -one, you know? It's kind of like penguins, you know? They have their one right? soulmate. Like us. But, yeah. <laughs> but then again, how is everybody else? You know, wolves. Do they do that? Are they monogamous? Yeah, you know, <laughs> I, don't, I, don't know. I, don't, I don't know. Maybe yeah. they do. I don't know. I don't know. Out of all these things, I don't know which one I would want to be the most. I, I think maybe a vampire. But, but, yeah, I was it's like, like um, almost too easy. With I mean, choice. a shapeshifter is kind of cool because you can be a fly on the wall, or you can be a bird, or you can be a horse, or right. you can be a dog, or whatever. You can be anything. Because yeah. the other is the werewolves and the were panthers. You're can stuck only, with one, yeah. one, that's one thing. It. But, or a fairy, I don't know if I would want to be that scary secretly inside. Oh, that, that freaks weird. me out. They're like gargoyle fairies. Right. And then creepy. when you suck their blood or whatever they in turn into land, their They turn into their creepiness and then die. Like Skeleton-like. I think vampire's way cooler. Way cooler. But what happened to Pam's face, speaking of that? <laughs> okay, so that one lady from the Inquisition... Right? I think that's what it was. The Spanish Inquisition. Yes, yeah. that's what it is. Um, took over Moira's She body. <laughs> took over her body and casted, an, ooh, casted another <laughs> spell. Yeah. And made her, it looked like made her face melt. Like, she ripped her cheek off. Yeah. And then ran off. And in her eyeball, we saw flames. So, did she die? Right. 
We don't know. I don't know. And it ended it right there. It didn't look like we've seen vampires die in the sun before. Mm-hmm. It didn't look it kinda, like that. Kinda, it was more. They turned to ash in the sun. Yeah, this looked this, more goop. like she was <laughs> melting. Yeah, like she was truly melting. Yeah, Creepy. freaked me out because I like Pam. Pam's cool in yeah, my book. She's kind of sassy in a way. Yeah. Yeah, strong. And, sassy. We talked about her boobs looked great in this yeah. episode. I was like, "Can I?" I just want a little bit more, please. I just want just a little. Pam's assets, please. <laughs> she right? looked awesome. Yeah, until her face melted. Yeah, until she ripped her cheek off and held it there. But yeah, I mean, that's where we're at. I don't know, like, but did she die? There were flames. Is in her she eye. gonna die? I don't know. When she runs back to Fantasia. Well, d- well, in her, in, uh, what's her name? Moira. Moira? Yeah. yeah. Her eye, there were flames. So she's, so like, inflicting she, them. Well, did she run away and she, like, caught on flames? Or? I hope not. Or what? Or was she just predicting something? Or Yeah, that would suck. I don't know where. I feel like everything else has not been predictable, but you can kind of see where it's going. Yeah. The witches? No idea. I, yeah. I don't know where this goddess is, from the Spanish Inquisition is going. I wish I could even make why a Why is she here? Right. Why is she coming back? Like, did the vampires set, or the ones that were setting her on fire? Or, remember? Because Yeah, scene, when, when they were burning her at the stake. They were burning her at the stake. What happened there? Why was she being burned at stake? Obviously, because she was a witch. Right. But maybe the vampires were involved. And they're, this is a huge like, plot for revenge hundreds of years mm-hmm. later. Maybe there's it's some possible. battle we don't know about. It's yeah. a larger battle that we, that we can't even wrap our minds around mm-hmm. some kind of fantastic battle. Craziness. <laughs> I don't know. There's so many supernatural elements. It's hard to keep up, but this is a season of the witch, so. They've got to come out and do something. I Yeah. It's going to be I'm big. bad like that. I'm always like, I'm the same way in the movies. I'm always like, what's going to happen? Right. Well, I don't know, Brit, sit and watch and maybe we'll like, find no, out. No, but I really want to know. I, like, I want to see season finale. What? Because you know it's going to yeah. be some kind of epic it has craziness, to do with the and then witches. you're gonna think about it all. Yeah, for all another entire year until the summer, which I hate right. about that. But this is super good. <laughs> <laughs> I understand why vampires. Like Where it. can we get it? Just online, maybe? Yeah, on the on the store. Oh, also, uh, I saw a Suki costume. It's her Merlot's waitress outfit. I was Ooh, totally thinking about doing that for, for Halloween. Halloween. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Maybe like one night because. I always do like three nights of Halloween the whole weekend. Yeah, well, you have to. Yeah, <laughs> one night maybe be a vampire. One yeah, night be sucky. Be sucky. Who else can we be? Hmm. Pam. Well, that's a vampire. You can be Pam. Vampire. Like, maybe you can be a witch. A witch or a witch. Maybe a, a sexy shapeshifter. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'd love to be a wolf. <laughs> That'd be awesome. A wolf or a shapeshifter. Something like that. You can just. Take a costume off and put it back on or something. Right. Or someone put me in a dog ring. That'd be sad. Look at his face. Like, he looks so happy. Like, you did. Finally you left reunited. him. Like, he had hope. Like, yes, we're free of that 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 mean guy. And What's Hoyt's mom going to do? Maxine. Find some other poor boy. She's running out of sons. <laughs> she right, had one. She just... Gone. Another one. Gone. Obviously, it's her parenting skills awful i think she just babies them too much or something well what's up with her doll collection she sits there and spends all her money on pay-per-view what is it shopping the, uh, home shopping network yeah, yeah. dolls <laughs> creepy well i don't know i tommy's gone now i That's, don't know what's those are her kids he's gonna be back in the ring maybe not in a mean way but maybe he's gonna die this, this season if i would make a prediction I don't know. I mean, is he really that big of a character on the show? Is he no. really that necessary and needed? I mean, I think I feel I've got what I've wanted to know out of him. We know yeah. that Sam doesn't like him. Sam's got a family. We met the family. They're kind of trashy. He might be insignificant enough that he'd be killed he, off, which is so sad to think about any yeah. of the characters. But even, I think we talked about it a couple weeks ago, but how um, Stephen Moyer had said in an interview, you know, he doesn't know how long he's going to be here. Yeah. He he doesn't know if he matters, you know, like he'd love to. And he said he doesn't he doesn't mind that Anna Paquin has to get with other dudes. He totally understands. Yeah. But um, she also said in an interview that she thinks it's funny that all the female fans who come up to them as a couple 
will ask for an autograph and they're just nice ask for her autograph too because <laughs> she's like I know you just want my husband's autograph you don't yeah. have to ask around as well but apparently the lady's just like Bill and not her I'm not really that attracted to Bill I'm not like there's so many other hot guys on the show yeah and maybe Bill's if he was kinda, alone but even with all then, these guys I can't it's like too distracting Elsie look at him just, just uh, Alexander mm. Scars guard? I can't that, believe yes. he's 40 something. That is ridiculous. He looks 25 at the no. most. And he look at that so innocent. boyish face. It's like she's like a mom. Yeah, I, I got like that maternal vibe this yeah, episode. She's like mothering him and taking care of him and making sure he's okay. Yeah, in this scene, she's putting him in bed. She's physically, she's like, if you don't go to sleep now, you're, you'll bleed out. <laughs> but then he's like a child, too. He is. It's like he's resorted to his childish way of saying... Please don't leave me. Please stay. Look at those big blue eyes just like looking at her. He looks so he's innocent. Like, I have human things to do. And he's like, oh. Oh, I wouldn't know. I don't know. I don't. I feel like <laughs> when Bill finds him that all hell could break loose. Uh, yeah. And something between him and Suki aren't going to. Go Isn't right. going to fly. Yeah. Oh, she finally she lied. lied to him. That was a big mm -hmm. deal. He wanted to come and check the house, and technically he could without her permission because it's not her house. Not her house anymore. It's Eric's, so Ugh. fair game for vampires. Yeah. And um, he wanted to check the house to look for Eric, and she said, no, you can't. You can't. And what was that, like, that quote? What did, you, uh, what did I've never lied to you before. When have I ever lied to you? And it was like, wow, sucky. Yeah. I can't believe... I don't know. I was shocked that she did that. I didn't know she had it I in her. I think she's... <laughs> Sorry. Uh, it's horrible that they have this monitor here because it's so pause distracting. It. They should just pause it right on air. <laughs> I love it. But yeah, she lies to Bill mm -hmm. and he doesn't come in. If he came in, he would know Eric was there in a second. I feel oh. like they can sniff each other out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They, yeah. But he would definitely know. I don't like this. This? I don't. I no. Don't, I, I don't like how she plays this innocent woman who, oh, woe is me. I need I would, your help, Elsie. Uh, danger, danger, danger. Right? All the hot guys just fall for me, and then I'm going to break all your hearts. All of them. I can't believe there's three after her. If I had three guys after me at, at one time, I'd be in heaven. Right? <laughs> oh, sucky. <laughs> and then Debbie, which is Elsie's girlfriend. Girlfriend who was a tramp before. Huge and tried to kill tramp, Suki. tramp, murderer, V abuser. Ooh, yeah. Um, no bueno. she's living with him and I think I've totally done it before like you act like you're not jealous even though you totally are mm -hmm. I've she's done trying that to play the cool <laughs> chick that he can be like wow babe that is you're awesome oh, you're like so cool that, you don't care yeah I'm glad we're being honest like thanks for letting me do my thing and yeah. be honest to you and you don't you don't hate me you don't right. you don't cause drama yeah but she's like secretly, you went to go visit Suki today that's fine I don't care Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, Secretly she's, like, she's uh, yeah. <laughs> screaming into a pillow. Like in her head, she's just like stabbing him. <laughs> yeah, right? I know that feeling. I've totally done that before. I'm like, oh, yeah. Yeah, no big deal. No worries. And, then, and I'm like, I hate that girl. <laughs> right? No, I've done that before too. I feel like she might take out some aggression. I don't know. Is she a changed woman? He even says that he's like, oh, I can't believe how much you've changed. Mm -hmm. How much that's you've what grown. makes me think yeah. that that's a trick. Well, can someone really change in like that? So much. She you was know? crazy last season. Like nuts. Off the wall. Yeah. Crazy. Like trying to kill everyone, running with this horrible pack. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know how much I trust her. Who knows? I feel like she could come after Suki, which I, wouldn't be cool. Suki's my dog. <laughs> <laughs> I like her. I think yeah. I genuinely want what's best for her. Mm -hmm. And Jason. Both the brother and sister. I do. I like them. They're like the normal <laughs> or supposed to be the normal. The normal family. Family in the South. I wonder how much longer Crystal's going to be around. Well, she is the Mama Panther now. Mama Panther. I love how he sticks up for himself in this episode. It's been really strange. And, you know, he could have been like, okay, yeah, you've, you, I've loved you for all this time now and. 
you know? And he's like, no, screw you. I'm out of here. Yeah. I don't, I don't, you're crazy. You're off your rocker. You Seriously, you put me up like a vending machine, but. <laughs> like, That's a good one. Seriously, you just let me lay here. And he's half dead, which I hope he gets better. But I think. I think he will. Because with Jessica's blood, Jessica's he'll be fine. Blood, yeah. But yeah, you leave me here for dead and let your entire family rape me. Awesome girlfriend skills, Crystal. Yeah. That's just. <laughs> A Hallmark card would have been okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is unnecessary. Yeah. I don't know how this grandmother, if she plays any major part anymore, or if we're ever going to see Portia again. We, well, we might because they're still business partners, right? Right. Like, mm, will they still be business partners? I really hope nothing else happens between them because that'd be gross. Oh, I love yeah. this one. She calls him Andrew. <laughs> He's like, Andrew. I'm out of here. His name is Andy Belfler. Not Andrew. He doesn't even look like an Andrew. But he does look like an Andy. An Andy. And it's sad. He still lives at grandma's house. Yeah, still living with his grandma, abiding by her rules. I and don't know. Then, right here, this is the scene where he's like, and I'll take a Red Bull. And then she stops and goes, no, 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 no. That's vulgar. <laughs> you will have a sweet tea. Nice. Like, he's being baby. And no he's wonder still hooked he's... on V, right? I'm assuming. Is he? I think so. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe he'll go to rehab this season. <laughs> if that exists for he's me. He's just funny. Yeah. He's, I feel bad. He's like our big teddy, big dumb teddy bear that we make yeah. fun of all the time. But yeah. I don't know. This was a good episode. I did. I liked I it. I liked it. We, I didn't think it was going to end. Right? We were like, what? Credits? That's it. That's no. it. It's over. It's over. We wanted more. Uh, <laughs> I wanted so much more, but yeah. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're going to head over to a commercial. Awesome. We'll be back with Woo -woo. Predictions. Predictions. Want to find out what the after buzz is about? Janice is a drama queen. This yes. is the divide that is going to carry the series. Give us a call. 424 256 1729. 424. 1729. This television, and they want it to be as dramatic as possible. I mean, it's Shakespearean. Like you never know what goes on behind closed doors. Find out why AfterBuzz TV is the number one source for after show content. Now, in the eyes of Jimmy, Nucky is a villain. 424 256 1729. 424 256 1729. I mean, who would you guys rather hear that from? Your husband or your best friend? <laughs> the wig! The wig will come out. That wig. When the TV show is over, get your after buzz on. And every shadow I love it. Build up with <laughs> doubt. I love it, yeah. I don't know who you are. It is prediction time. What's going to happen? Next episode, let's do a play-by-play -play okay. of our personal fifth episode of the fourth season. Okay. So Eric and Suki, for sure, at least maybe a little soft core. Something. Please. Uh, a kiss on the cheek. Yeah. Anything. Mm -hmm. That I'm hoping for. They usually start off wherever they left off. So we see Pam okay, yeah. running. Is she dead? I don't know. I think we're going to, like, mm -hmm. you know, zoom in on the scene of her entering Fantasia, maybe running to the bathroom to see what the hell is wrong with her face. I think she's gone. I think you think she, she's gone? I think no. she blew up or is on flames. Something. Because of the eyes that mm -hmm. Moira had. It's, it's like so a little possible. insight. I think she's on flames. But then again, she could be just running on flames yeah. to get back to Fantasia. I don't know. Something. She needs help. Yes. <laughs> that, um, I totally think that... Sam and Luna's relationship. We're going to learn more about it, mm -hmm. especially with Emma. Um, we might even see the, the werewolf ex-husband. Ex Wonder who that is, by the way. What if he's a super hot new guy? Lame. Uh, that would, I don't know. Then, then I would I have to. Then I would have to go for the other guy than Sam. It's too much. They have too many hot guys in the show. <laughs> Can't take it anymore. Um. I think also we're going to see Tommy get put into a ring. A ring. Maybe even hurts a lot. Yeah. Death, maybe. Possibly. I. 
that's I feel like they just have we to may segue even into that lose next two episode. characters. We may lose two in characters one in one episode. Maybe would they do that to us? Would Maybe they kill us like that. They could. Um, the witch development I think is going really slowly. I think it'll just continue that way. Mm. I don't know. This definitely showed a powerful movement though for them. So you think it might be like yeah, I think, next episode. Boom. I think next episode we're gonna definitely learn who that lady is. Right. We're definitely learn a lot more about that lady. The goddess and, from the yeah, Spanish and how, Inquisition. Why she's here, maybe. Why she's here, what she wants. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I could see that next episode being more informational. Yeah. Finding out some more. Um, what else? Jason. Yeah. Jessica. Point. Is there gonna be a <laughs> love triangle? I don't know. They've got a. That was one of the second to last things they left off on. So I 100 percent think they're gonna. They're gonna talk about that. Divulge sure. into that mm -hmm. one. Um, I think. I think you're. You might be right. I think that Jason might be falling for Jessica because I could. They'd look cute. I can cute. see that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And he likes that vampy stuff too. Yeah. He likes the dangerous life. Yeah. He dated a were yeah, panther. Yeah, yeah. Now he's gonna date her. So. That for sure. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to think of what else. What else I I think is gonna uh, happen. Well, maybe a full moon's gonna happen. And we're gonna see maybe what happens with Jason when and he transforms. Is he gonna transform? Will his body be able to handle being a were panther? Because I, I thought <laughs> you know? when they were telling that ghost story, um, they were saying how the ghost daddy dies, doesn't he? Or will return to hot shot? Maybe that's why she's like, "You'll be back." Yeah, something. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Um, I kind of have a feeling that Eric's going to get found. I think that he can only run yeah. for so long. Well, and he keeps doing crazy things. <laughs> right, like going running in the lake. Running off in the daytime, <laughs> running in a lake. Which I like, won't complain about because it was awesome. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I feel like he can only run for so long. Mm -hmm. It's episode five already, so I kind of feel like... It's time. It's time for some stuff to actually start happening. Yeah, I think... Bill might finally get a hold of him. Because mm -hmm. what does he want, though? What does he want? I don't know. I can't believe he's the king now. It's like weird. It is to see weird. him in that light. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I think that Eric's gonna get found probably by Bill. Maybe Sookie slipping up. I don't know. Maybe. And you I know, they said Sookie nothing would... about fairies this episode, which leads me to believe that next episode they have to, because they don't go that long without talking about talking stuff. about it. Yeah. And she said she was like, "You better run because it's only so a matter of time before they catch fairy you. Fairy friends come looking for you for draining her." So, I don't know. I, I feel like They're next episode back. They're coming back. we might get a little a good fifteen minutes of fairy time, something like that. <laughs> a little fairy sprinkle, right? Like a dust. <laughs> I'll have to bring that. Oh no! Oh, right. Oh, that's my last right. week. I forgot to tell you guys. Uh, this is my last week. Talking about True Blood. Cheers. I I wish it wasn't. No. Because I love well, talking gonna about it. you're going to have to call in. I'm going to be a guest to calling hear in. your beautiful voice. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> hopefully you guys can recognize my voice. <laughs> but yeah, um, I'm leaving Cali to go back to New York, unfortunately. Oh, is this? Oh, this is my sad music. This is Please Don't Go by Mike Posner. I love it. I love this song. Thank you. This makes you feel special. <laughs> it's gonna be a club in here now. I know, right? <laughs> Aw, I don't want to leave. I was gonna say I'd bring another prop next week. <laughs> <laughs> Some fairy dust. I'll bring it for you Please in your memory. Do. I wish I didn't have to, no. but yeah. Um, I definitely if if I don't call in every single time, mm -hmm. season finale. I want to do some kind of like video chat. That would be awesome. That would be so you could get cool. Get me on a Mac, like, right? <laughs> Please let we'll me totally Skype right video here. chat you in. I chat it up. That would be awesome, and I'll I'll go all out. I love playing dress up, so I'll get you all can into wear it. Wear your Suki costume. I know, right? My little waitress. And drink your True Blood. I know. I'll, <laughs> I'll take your order at Merlot. <laughs> Seriously though, um, I think you can get this on the at the online store. It's really good. I know it looks. Also get free. a hot topic. A, a hot topic? You can. Give me a hot topic. Ooh, hot what? topic. What is that? Oh, um, on this, uh, not on the the West Coast. There we go. On yeah. the West Coast, it's more like a. No, they have like it on the East Coast. They do. Yeah, 
Hot Topic. Oh, the store. It's like the you can Walker get the posters. Punk right? store, yeah. Yeah, it's like where they sell like posters and t-shirts with the prints on it. It's like okay. an emo type. Yeah, like Not, an emo store. No, I know what you're talking about. I thought... Never mind. I, never mind what I thought. Yeah, I used to shop there when I was in seventh grade, and I was a little <laughs> punk ass. But she was thinking some dirty stores. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "What?" She's like, "Do they have whips and chains? <laughs> and can I get fangs there?" <laughs> no, actually, you can get fangs there. Shut up. <laughs> Where I was a vampire. Me and my friends uh, dressed up last this past oh Halloween. Oh my gosh! As are they the good ones? Yeah, the real. Where they like, like, they like cap on? Yeah, or <gasps> like I like. They were really Ooh, cute. I was it. Dude. <laughs> we were the Jersey Shore, but vampire. Like, we had Ooh. been bitten. So I, I actually had bought true blood to have, so I could, like, drink, walk around drinking blood and had it pour into That my is face. awesome. And they have some really... That sounds they have the, all different so dope, cool. Uh, fangs. They have, all like, different fangs? They have, like, sexy female fangs. <laughs> they have That's long what I need. Fangs. The ones That's, we want. There you go. <laughs> I did not know that. I'm hitting when up are you topic. leaving? I'm leaving on... Sunday, next Sunday. All right, well, maybe this week's in time. We can go and check out Hot Topic. We need to. I didn't know they sold True Blood here because I was like, I think you can only get this online. It's so special. <laughs> do they come in different? Uh, do you know? Because it's buy them in positive. Like, do it's AB negative going on or? I'm not sure what they have. Okay. I just know when I, last time I went, they have them in like pouches and then they also have them in like crates. Like Nice. Milk. Oh, so you can buy like the old oh. school milk, the milkman. The That's old legit. School. I'm, I think this looks real. 100%. From producers Kevin Undergaro and Phil Svitek, engineer DJ Jesse Janity, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. If you have questions or comments, be sure to buzz us at info at AfterBuzzTV.com. And you can find us on Facebook or follow us on Twitter by searching for AfterBuzz TV. Buzz, buzz you later! later. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.